Hey guys, I'm Eric with Extreme Terrain. Now, as you just saw and heard, today we're checking out the Rough Country dual exhaust system with black tips, fitting all 2009 and later Toyota Tundras. Now, you should really be checking this exhaust system out if you're only looking for a mild upgrade to your exhaust note. I would give it about a three out of five on our loudness meter. It is a slight tick up in terms of aggressiveness to that exhaust note over your factory setup, but really it's not gonna blow your eardrums out and it's certainly not the loudest we offer here at Extreme Terrain. Now, as you'll see a little bit later in this video, when we compare the exhaust to our factory exhaust, the muffler that comes with this Rough Country kit is more or less the same size as your factory muffler. Now, obviously the internal construction is gonna be different and it's gonna be a lot more free flowing. It's gonna allow a lot more exhaust gases through with less restriction and you are gonna get a slightly louder aggressive note, but you still have a lot of sound deadening material in the muffler system for this kit. So if you're looking for an exhaust note that's only slightly more aggressive than factory, this is a good one to check out. And kind of what I noted on our road test there is that really it had the most personality when you're kind of cruising along and you hit the gas and you take it from a rev of around 2000 to 2500 RPMs up to about 4000, kind of right in the middle of that power band. It really kind of had a deep throaty growl to it that was really pleasing during acceleration. Under harder acceleration, it kind of lost its character a little bit. It wasn't quite as pleasing to the ear as some other exhausts out there under really hard acceleration. So I would say kind of in that middle of the torque range or middle of the power band, really kind of had that grumble, rumble that you like to hear out of your V8 engine. Now, overall, this kit is made from quality materials. You have 409 stainless that's mandrel bent from the front all the way back here to your tips. Now the tips are high temperature resistant 304 stainless, which is really premium grade, and that's gonna resist any kind of corrosion for a long time, and you're not gonna get any fading or color change in the material, regardless of the temperatures that you're running. Now, something else I do wanna point out about this kit that's not necessarily unique, but it's a neat feature that you don't see in very many exhaust kits, is that you have the option to run your exhaust out the side or straight out the back. All you need to do is undo a clamp here and fit on a different size pipe with a different design to it and put your tip on that pipe and you basically have a different setup and you can change the look pretty much at will about five minutes time and you can change that up from side to rear or from rear to side. Now, as far as the price goes, you're looking at just under 625 bucks for this kit. I think with the fact that you can change up the side or the rear exit on the exhaust, plus you have the nice styling addition of the black tips, and slightly more aggressive exhaust note. I think that's a pretty decent deal. There are a lot of exhaust kits out there that don't offer those kind of options that are gonna be quite a bit more expensive. And even though this is a more affordable kit, you are still getting that quality 409 and 304 stainless throughout. Now, overall, I'm giving this a two out of three wrenches on our difficulty meter. I think the most difficult thing is gonna be getting your factory exhaust out. Now, if you are never gonna look back and you're gonna get rid of that factory exhaust, by all means, get a sawzall or a similar cutting tool and just cut it out. It'd be a lot easier. Now, what we show you here today is we have to preserve our factory exhaust on our fleet vehicle here. So we're gonna show you how to get that removed in one piece. And it's easy for us to do on a lift. If you're doing this at home on jack stands and a floor jack, it might be a little more difficult. So give yourself about two hours time to get this job done from start to finish. Overall, the fitment is pretty good and these sections of pipe fit it up pretty well together. There's a little bit of a challenge here. You're gonna to have to add a mounting point because we are splitting it into a dual exhaust here at the back versus the straight back single exhaust outlet that you get from the factory. Other than that, pretty straightforward. So let's take a look at the tools you're gonna to need and move forward with the installation. All right guys, tools you're gonna see in this installation include a rubber mallet or dead blow, an electric impact wrench, a hand socket wrench, an extension, a swivel socket, eight, 10, a pair of 14 and 15 millimeter sockets, 14 millimeter wrench and a hanger removal tool. All right, so before we can get started installing our new exhaust, we're gonna go ahead and get our factory one off. We're gonna show you how to do that while keeping our factory pipe intact. Obviously, if you plan on never reusing your original equipment, muffler and exhaust pipe, you can just cut it and make it a lot easier to remove off of your truck, to be quite honest with you. But this is a fleet vehicle, so this installation is not gonna be permanent. So we're gonna show you how to get it all out in one piece. Let's go ahead and get started. One thing I would recommend doing before you get going here, let your exhaust cool down if you've been driving your truck, and also get in there with some lubricating oil and spray up the little rubber hangers. That'll make popping those metal hangers out of the rubber a lot easier. All right, now to get started, like I already said, guys, I'm gonna make sure everything's cooled down. This first two bolts that we're gonna take out are right by a catalytic converter, which gets really hot. 
Uh, and we've been letting our truck sit for like an hour and it's still pretty warm. I also recommend having eyewear and some uh, gloves while you work with your exhaust. Exhaust pipes tend to have uh, sharp edges to them, not to mention the surfaces being hot as well. So let's go ahead and get these out. Our factory bolts are 14 millimeter. All right, same 14 millimeter socket for these two bolts as well. Now we're gonna have a total of four rubber hangers like this, guys, and to be quite honest with you, if you're trying to keep your pipe intact like we are, you can do these in any order that you want. Uh, we're kind of doing it the way it might be easiest for us to demonstrate for you. So we're at the one that's all the way, obviously, back here by our spare tire. And you might see a little bit of wetness here on the rubber. I sprayed some penetrating oil on there earlier just to let it sink in. That makes these coming off a lot easier. All right, guys, now this is the fourth out of four rubber hangers. So obviously once we pop this one loose, you gotta make sure your pipe is supported in some kind of way. All right guys, that pretty much wraps up our uninstall. So let's go ahead and lay them out on the floor and check out how it stacks up with our new exhaust. All right guys, so now we have our factory exhaust off the Tundra, we laid it out here on the floor just to give you a side-by-side -side comparison with the new Rough Country kit that we're gonna be installing today. Now obviously there's a huge styling upgrade and enhancement with the new Rough Country kit because you have those nice black tips out there. That's gonna really kind of dress up the rear end, whereas before, Factory exhaust really doesn't offer much in that category. It's pretty unceremoniously just dumps out the back. Really no style to it whatsoever. The other nice thing about this is you have the option of having it shoot straight out the back or putting the curved pipes that you see here in the center so you have a side exit to your exhaust. And that's relatively easy to switch out, not necessarily on the fly, but some weekend you might decide, well, I'm sick of it shooting out the back. I wanna see how it looks coming out the sides. It's gonna be a matter of undoing clamps on there and just putting the new pipes on. It's really pretty easy to swap it out. You're also gonna be getting an upgrade in sound quality with this Rough Country muffler, as you heard during our sound clip there. So really, it's gonna be about style and more aggressive exhaust note with this kit. So let's go ahead and get it installed. All right guys, now to get started here, we're on the passenger side with the longer section of pipe that has the flange attachment to hook up to the rest of the factory exhaust and go ahead and grab one of these hanger clamps out of your kit. The one that has the more kind of a short angle here, you have the other one that's kind of more at a 90 degree angle. That's gonna be for the driver's side. We're gonna use this one here. I'm gonna get it started in the hanger. Have your hanger pointed forward inside the isolator. Just gonna get that started in there a little bit, and that's gonna help uh, support the pipe as we slide it in here and then we're gonna mount the bolts up front. Now you're gonna see some non-standard hardware. Our truck here has been used and abused here with these installation videos and we have an aftermarket uh, nut and bolt that we're gonna use there, so just be aware of that. I just have that started, guys. We're not gonna tighten it up just yet. You're gonna want a little bit of uh, play here with the tubing as we cinch everything up. And this is the non-standard hardware I was talking about. Your exhaust is gonna have captured nuts that are welded to the flange here on this backside. 
and through use and un installing and uninstalling exhausts for these videos, our uh, captured nut came loose back here. So that's why we have this set up here, but you should be able to just put your factory bolts back in here. All right, now I have that snugged up, but we're gonna leave it somewhat loose for now. All right guys, so get your other hanger clamps started on your other front end piece of pipe here with the flange. And you want your hanger pointing towards the front as you put it in the isolator, get it started. And I'm kind of holding the flange of this pipe up to the factory flange so I know just how far the hanger has to go into the isolator. Once that's more or less lined up, go ahead and start your factory bolts. And you're just gonna wanna adjust this here. You don't want any binding or if it's really hard to put the bolts back in, if there's tension kind of pulling on the bolt there, then you don't have good alignment. You want it to, you want the flanges to fit up nice and flat against each other. All right, now, so we have these snugged up. Obviously I just did this by hand, so it's supported, but we want a little bit of play here in the system as we keep going. All right, guys, now we have our muffler ready. Get a couple of clamps started. And the muffler will be marked with inlet side. That's the side we're gonna to put towards the front. Get that on there as far as it'll go. And I have a pole jack here. We're just gonna support the weight of the muffler until we can get the next hanger on. All right guys, now as you can see, this clamp is very tight on here. We've loosened this nut down about as far as we can go without the nut actually coming off and the clamp coming apart on us. So if it's a little snug on here, feel free to grab like a rubber mallet or a similar tool and just kind of tap around. So now it's flush with the outlet part of the muffler here and we'll get the next section of pipe in. All right guys, now this one's pretty close up here, so I'm gonna start the hanger into the rubber isolator a little bit first. And you wanna get the pipe in there pretty much as far in as it'll go. You wanna make sure there's enough of this flange covering that pipe so you don't have any exhaust leaks. And it's a little tricky because you're pushing it in here and the hanger into the isolator at the same time. That looks pretty good. All right guys, now following the diagram, uh, as far as which section of pipe comes next, grab the next passenger side bit of piping, get it installed into the outlet of the muffler. All right guys, now we have a clamp started on this next section of pipe here for the passenger half of the dual exhaust. Now this section here has a hanger that's gonna be facing towards the back or pointing towards the back. So when you get this up here, you're gonna to wanna to get the hanger started first. And you might see a little drop of uh, oil there. I did shoot some PV blaster in there. Uh, it's a good idea, it makes it a lot easier to get these hangers started in the rubber isolator. All right guys, now go ahead and grab this kind of S-shaped pipe. We're gonna do a rear exit here for this exhaust. Get a clamp started on here and fit it on. It's gonna be a little loose right now, so it's gonna hang low until we uh, tighten everything up from the front to the back. And once we see how it's laid out, once you start tightening things up, the pipe is liable to move a little bit as you tighten things. So we're gonna leave this nice and loose just for now. All right guys, now the next step here is we're gonna have to mount a new hanger point because with this dual exhaust, our factory truck, our factory exhaust here with the truck didn't have anything over on this side. So we're gonna have to create a new mounting point. 
Now to do that, you have this hanger right here and this large square kind of washer type thing. We're gonna grab a bolt and then another washer. There's a cross member here for the frame that connects the frame rails together. And up on top of that frame cross member, there is a hole that we're gonna put this up on top. And then this is gonna go up like that. And then we're gonna cinch it up with another couple of washers and a bolt or a nut from underneath. So that's right up in here. As you can see guys, I'm using kind of an extension and a short 14 millimeter socket to hold that nut up into place. And once you have it started, go ahead and grab some tools and we'll tighten that up. All right guys, now up top I have a 14 millimeter wrench uh, securing the bolt and a 14 millimeter socket again. Here we're gonna tighten up the nut. All right guys, now grab the next section for the driver's side of the exhaust system, get another clamp started, and we're gonna fit it up. We're gonna leave that nice and loose. Now grab this rubber uh, isolator from the kit. To be quite honest with you, this is very tight, uh, and the hanger steel here on the exhaust, it's welded to the exhaust pipe, it's quite a bit larger than the holes here, so you might need to drill these out just a little bit. If you have a, a drill bit that's about a half inch diameter, that'll just kind of waller out that hole just enough for you that you can get it on here pretty easily. Now I have it partially started here. And we'll get it up into place to the hanger mount that we just attached to the truck. And we get the last S-shaped section of pipe here for the rear exit exhaust setup. And have a clamp started. And again, just as with the other side, we're gonna leave that loose for now. And we're gonna go back up to the front of the exhaust and start tightening up and work our way back. All right guys, now starting at the front of what we're replacing here, go ahead and tighten up these bolts here in the flange. Your factory hardware is a 14 millimeter. I've already tightened the one up top. We didn't show that because like I said, it's non-standard. Uh, hardware, so really the tool size for that is going to be irrelevant to you. 14 millimeters is what you need to tighten up the factory bolts. Now for all the clamps that are included with this kit guys, you're going to need a 15 millimeter socket for these. All right guys, now we're gonna mount the tips here to the end of the exhaust. You're gonna need uh, 10 millimeter uh, tools on both sides here for the nut and the bolt here. So cinch it up and get it lined up the way you want. We're gonna line it up so it's more or less flush with the bottom corner here of our exhaust. 
but there is a little bit of play here and you have some excess length to the tubing here. So if you want your tips to just kind of protrude out just a little bit more for your own, suit your own taste, you can do that. But we're gonna set it up just like that and we're gonna tighten them down. All right, that wraps up this review and install of this Rough Country dual exhaust system with black tips fitting all 2009 and later Toyota Tundras. Of course, for all things Tundra, keep it right here at ExtremeTerrain.com.